On a day like today, we couldn't possibly have a better vehicle to test than the 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee. You don't see Brad out here, do you? This is new body style, but with all the familiar cues. This is the latest generation of an old favorite, but it also has one surprise. The Ford Explorer probably started the SUV segment, but the Jeep Grand Cherokee is what added luxury, and it's the one that everybody aspired to back in the 80s. And once again, that's exactly what this truck is all about. It's rugged on the outside, but in the inside, it is completely luxurious, sumptuous. But this time around, it's also simply elegant. The lines are clean, you've got stitching, leather, lots of bright, colorful electronics. Everything about the truck is polished and finished. And then again, for 70,000 bucks, what else would you really expect? And under the hood, hear that? Diesel, three liter diesel, eco diesel. This is now getting to be the standard in all luxury SUVs, including this Jeep Grand Cherokee. And talk about fuel economy, I just went to Detroit and back, 800 kilometers, it averaged nine liters per hundred. That's amazing. This Grand Cherokee offers the diesel engine as an option. However, it's not an American-built Cummins. Instead, Jeep uses an Italian-built oil burner, one that is actually better known internationally. And that's the point. Jeep expects huge sales in new markets like China, where a diesel in a luxury truck is a given. A snowy test day demands at least a few donuts, and the torque from this diesel easily spun the wheels. The beauty of the four-wheel drive system on the Grand Cherokee is that it can be used selectively or simply left in an auto setting. Either way, the worse the weather, the greater the feeling of confidence this Jeep gives you. You know, on a day like today, we couldn't have asked for a better test vehicle. And the Grand Cherokee, yeah, it's a luxury SUV. But you know, at heart, it's really just a Jeep. And that's what's great about it.